It started with the scare of his life. It wasn't like someone was grabbing me in my chest. It felt like someone was stabbing me from the inside. I felt my, like both my legs actually just starting, they started to get weak. And, and after that, I just felt like, I felt myself drooling, right? And I was no longer able to sustain my weight because of how weak my legs felt. And I just fell to the ground. That was when I realized, I think you're going to die. And I think this is it. This is the big one. You said that to yourself. I said that to myself, like, I'm going to die alone at home. I'm going to die while urinating on myself. And I'm going to die at over 400 pounds on a big Monday or Tuesday morning. And that's going to be, that's literally going to be the legacy for my life. That led to one last bargain, a desperate plea to God. And I said, I know I don't deserve a second chance, but I'm begging you for one. And I said, if you let me survive this today, I'm going to turn everything around. That was March 30th, 2020, just a little over nine months ago, when 28-year-old Manuel Grant, who at the time weighed 410 pounds, believed he was having a heart attack and prayed for one last chance at life. It was his wake-up call. In the beginning, I set a 250 weight goal for myself because that seemed so impossible and far-fetched. I was like, I'll just throw that number. I'll never reach it. It was just taking it one day at a time and one week at a time and, you know, every week going to weigh and things like that. I was like, okay, the weight is slowly coming off. Yeah. And little by little every day, that 250 weight goal, it, seems a, it seemed a little more possible. Step by step, he progressed. He swapped his habits of excessive emotional eating to carefully measured low-calorie foods. He started exercising and gained motivation as he shed the pounds. If your diet isn't one that you can see yourself on for the rest of your life, then that is not the diet for you. I just started worrying about calories and that's what weight loss is. It doesn't matter what diet you, you're on. It doesn't matter if it's keto, paleo, veganism. It doesn't matter. It comes down to one simple math, mm -hmm. mathematic equation. That's calories in, calories out. Right? As long as you are burning more calories than you are consuming, you will lose weight. And the weight just kept coming off seven pounds in one week, eight pounds in one week. And it just became like this, this high I was chasing. Especially in the beginning, I couldn't do any crazy. I could barely walk for 10 minutes, right? But I walked for 10 minutes. Although it was hard, although I was, I was out of breath for most of it. Then I started being able to run a bit. And now every day I do 60 minutes of cardio but I break it up into walking fast, fast walking, running, and skipping rope. Slowly, the new Manuel began to reveal himself, no longer antisocial and hiding from his own reflection. However, he's still adjusting to the new person in the mirror. I really don't know who he is because I was used to never looking into mirrors. I never passed where cars were because I didn't want to maybe get a glimpse of my reflection because I hated myself so much and the worst part about a prison like this that you built is that you built it yourself. You built this prison on your own, like you literally did this to yourself. And that's the worst part because you don't have anybody else to blame. And now I look in the mirror and I'm, I'm not 100% happy with everything that I see. I, I, I pick myself apart but the guy in the mirror now, he has hope and that is something that I did not have before. This All right, the, let's see it. This is size that I used to use. <laughs> size 56 with extensions. With extensions. He has lost 165 pounds in a little over nine months and down 20 pant sizes. But with all the weight he's lost, Manny says he's gained so much more. I look at everything with a positive mindset. And I see, I choose to see the positive in every situation. And I think that's made me a much more pleasant person to be around. And I think that's just as important as the physical aspect, which, you know, is great. Yeah. But having a better mindset changes everything. It's not over yet. As he says, he still has three more months to reach another weight loss goal. I did set a, um, another weight goal for myself. It's 210. I think that would, I'm six feet tall, so that would, I think that would be, you know, 210 would be ideal. Manuel has shared his story online with the hopes of inspiring others to do the same.
it's become a cliche at this point where people say, if I can do it, anyone, can. no, if I can do it, I was literally at death's door. If I can do this, there's no reason why anyone else in this world can't do what I did.